Hi everybody, oh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back my dreamers. How are you guys doing? I know I had a girl, I had to take a little day break. I did. I tossed and turned, I went back and forth about trying to release something yesterday, but my vertigo was kicking in hard yesterday. I mean, I was struggling. I'm feeling much better today and I'm getting a lot done. But I do want to give you a heads up that I have a lot of videos coming out with hints of friendship and just friend mail in general coming out this week. But for right now, this is a Dollar Tree haul and everything is $1.25. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, if you missed my last Dollar Tree haul, I shared a lot of fun things, including, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable here, um, the tulip. They have two different kits available in my my specific area and they kind of have them spread out in different places so just a heads up so they do have the tie-dye smaller kit with the three bottles as you can tell right there and then they have the larger kit where you could do 30 um, tie-dye set um, items okay so they have this bigger set with all these beautiful colors with the yellow the red the violet the blue and the green and then the smaller set with the red I'm sorry, with the coral, the yellow, and the sky color, okay? So heads up. And they put them in different places. They are. Okay. Then in the, let's do, I guess we could do beauty. I found a new bar, and this is the Raw Shea Butter Gently Moisturizes Skin. I got this from my husband. It says, compared to Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Soap. And it does also have rosemary extract in it. So if you like a shea, you got some rosemary up in there. Yeah, this should be very interesting. And I know my husband's going to enjoy it. So he likes a shea butter um, soap. Now, the next item that I found that had been on my wish list was the Crayola Silly Scents Toothpaste. Okay, these are four ounces. And they are by Brush Buddy. And this particular scent here is the bubblegum. They have the watermelon. And they have the, what is this? The strawberry. <laughs> and my kids were like, Mom, when are you going to share it? Because we want to start using it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to share it so you guys can start using it. So I got all three scents. I'm hoping that they'll enjoy them. Um, considering they're $1.25, I think that's a great price. And these do have fluoride in them. Just a heads up for those that, you know, want to know. Then in, also in the beauty aisle, let's see. They had, they have some new tools by Sassy and Chic for nail polish. And I have just ordered a whole bunch of new nail polish along with, you know, nail stickers. But I have a lot of like, that I got from um, CVS. I have a bunch of this paparazzi nail polish that I love, paparazzi brand. I highly recommend this. It's sell it at CVS and probably other places as well. But, you know, I really like this particular brand. The color is always really vibrant and is always really pretty. So um, I think I have like 12 bottles. I know because there was a deal and I got, you know, $8 cashback bucks and I had some cashback bucks already. You know, I made it happen. I made it happen. But back to this, um, this is the nail art tools. Now they have several different kits to do nails, but you can also use this for smaller paint jobs, like for dollhouse miniatures. That's what I'm going to use it for. Um, not just per se for nails. So there you go. And it gives you a very thin you see that it gives you a very thin brush so you can do some very detailed um, little strokes but they have two different variations it might be even three but I saw two so that was that one was interesting for me then I also picked up from that department the Disney mint hot chocolate lip balm and it's a flavored lip balm and it is by the Tasty Company, the Taste Company. Yeah, and their lip balms are really nice, okay? So I got the hot, the mint hot chocolate, and then I got the candy cane swirl. So those were the only two flavors that they had available for the Mickey, for this Mickey one. I was looking for my other lip balm that I know I have right here. Yeah, so I'm a lip balm girl. I have like two or three lip balms in my purse at all times. 
I love my lip balms. Love them. So I can't wait to try those two out and see how they are. Now, the next thing I want to share with you, uh, let's do the sock department. In the sock department, they had the friend socks. Yeah. And it is a two pack, I believe. I think it's two socks in there. Yeah, there's two socks in there. And I thought that they were so cool. If you're ever, you know, wondering about, do they have friends? They got food. They have this, they have that. This one would be a nice one to find for somebody who enjoys the show friends. Okay. So I thought that these were really nice. And this, this one definitely has two different looks to them. Just so you can see it has two different looks. And this one has a different look in the back as well. Okay. And they are, they are name brand, it looks like. So that was a really good find, right? Just to give you a heads up, heads up. Because uh, I heads up, I said, mm -hmm. heads up. I don't know if I'm going to make this my Vlogtober as well, or try to kick out a Vlogtober. I have to see. I have to see. Okay. Anyways, um, I did find the shorts. I picked up another one. So let me open this up for you. So these are, it says on the tag, it retails for $24. Let me put this over here. Put down over here. And they look like this. Um, I shared with you the previous one or two that I found some different colors. This one has that heathered right there, gray and black. It has a little side pocket with the zipper. And it is a longer short. Okay. And let me see. It does have this little emblem here as well down there on the bottom. Let me see if I can show it to you. It has that little emblem there on the bottom too. But um, it has a nice stretch waist. So this would fit someone for a nice long time. Um, you easily wear this for several years, you know. But it's a great find for $1.33. They were ringing up for $1.33 in my store. Some other people said they were ringing up for $1.25 in theirs. It was ringing up $1.33 in mine. So just a heads up. Now in the, hmm, I saw all the brand new nails. They had all the nails. They do. They have them out. So if you need like nails for your home for projects or deck projects, they had deck nails and everything. They have those available. So just a heads up. Um, I did get the Tack and Push Pin Kit by Bulldog. It's project ready. Um, it's 135 and it's 135 of different kinds. Okay. Because I'm changing things up in here. Mm -hmm. I am. And I think I'm going to be able to utilize these not only for, you know, the wall to put things up, but, you know, some of the little things that I want to do. So 135 different styles I was in. And then they did have the STP and I was like, I called my husband and I was like, should I get this? He was like, stop wasting your money. I'm okay. I'm okay. And I said, no, I'm going to buy one. And this is the multi-purpose motor treatment fuel stabilizer. So it's good for automobiles, motorcycles, boats, and small engines. I bought it for the small engine portion since we do have generator um, and, uh, other equipment here, you know, snow, snow blower, we have the leaf blower, <laughs> we have the weed whacker, we have our lawnmower, we have several pieces of equipment. So I figured, you know, it's winter time. A fuel stabilizer might come in handy. It might, I don't know, but I got it and it is named brand. You can't beat that. Then along the same you know, because right there next to the car stuff, they had the gunk getter for those hard to reach places. Yeah, so they have this one and it's uh, made to get the gunk out from different tight places, all the way from keyboards to clippers to cars and so much more. It says press and pull back the gunk. I haven't tried it. I have no clue if it works. I don't know, but we're going to find out. We'll figure it out. Because I do have uh, some little tight spots that I can't really get to for myself. Now, in the crafting department, they did finally bring out the tools. 
Okay, um, this is great to have if you're a jewelry maker or a crafter in general. These are just the three pieces that I bought because I did buy a heavy duty cutter from um, Hobby Lobby the other day that I showed in my Hobby Lobby, my Hobby Lobby haul. So go check that out. Um, yeah, so I got these. So I got these. These are the ones that I wanted. And they come in different colors. There you go. So for $1.25, that's not bad at all, you guys, to get these. To get these for $1.25, if you're looking for tools, you can't beat that price. Honestly, you can't. You just can't. Then um, I also picked up these, these stickers. Uh, they got some they got some really nice stickers out right now, you guys, especially like the rhinestone ones and all the really pretty decorative ones that are fantastic for all kinds of things. But I thought these are so pretty because they have, it's like a whole bunch of pretty pastels. And normally pastels are not my jam. So the fact that I was like, ooh, yeah, I had to get it because <laughs> it called out to me. So maybe I am leaning towards the pastel -y side as well now, not so much mixed media, you know, dark, grungy. I love the dark and grungy look for stuff. Yeah, so this is really pretty though. Look at those colors. And it has like a little shimmer to them. They have a shimmer. When you see them in person, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now the only foodie item that I got, and then we'll get into like the book section, is this Snickers. Um, I bought one, I tried it, and I liked it. I'm putting it in my coffee. Now this does, let me let me explain. This does have more of a Snickers scent, but when you put it in your coffee, um, it's more almost like a cocoa, but not a strong cocoa. So um, if you think it was going to be really sweet, it's not. It's not, at least not for me. So it's working out just fine. It's giving me the right amount of sweetness and chocolate flavor that... Um, it's just perfect. So I got another one because I was really happy with it. I sure did. Then in the kids department, they have these nice books. Um, they have different ones, including girl ones. And these are by Pap, Pap Publishing. Okay. And these are do-it-yourself comic books. All right. This is do-it-yourself comic books. You can learn how to write, draw, and color your very own comic book. Fun and easy. And then, like I said, they do have some with girls in it. This is this is the first one. That's the second one that I picked up. And then that's the third. And I'll show you what it looks like in the inside. It says, to reveal your comic book, carefully remove the printed front and back covers. Ta-da! Now you can make your own book art and it will be displayed. So you could take this off somehow. Oh yeah, okay, I see. So if you take this off, this will be the front of your book, okay? That'll be the actual front. But if you see, yeah, it's just like a comic book and then it has these stickers in the middle. Yeah, cool, pow, pow, wow. Yeah, all those really cool ones. And then they create their own narrative. And that's just a great fun thing to do and helps kids with their imagination, you know. Sometimes they need stuff like that. Now, what's really excited to see this book is by Matt Abdu and Shane McBride. And it's um, Pig Beach Barbecue Cookbook. And it's a smoke grilled, roasted, and sauced. And there was a lot of things in there that I thought were really interesting. Now, the price of the book, I'm going to try to take uh, take it off while I'm holding it up here for y'all, is $30. Yeah, it's 30 bucks. So, that's, that's a really pretty, um, that's a really pretty, and then there's, look, there's your recipes, plenty of pictures, so you know what things are supposed to end up looking like. Okay. And it is a hardback book. Also a great what? A, a great gift for somebody that's just starting to get into cooking. And, you know, this is great for that. Then the last one. Ooh, guys. Yeah. It's called Oh Joy. 60 Ways to Create and Give Joy. Okay. And this is by Cho Joy Cho. Joy Chow or Joy Cho. And this book... 
let me tell you how much it retails for me move this to go i know it's like i'm still not 100 percent my vertigo is still kind of kicking yeah i'm struggling a little bit right now you guys i am i'm not gonna sit here and fake the funk oh they don't have the price look i'm taking out the whole sticker they don't what is the price $27.50. The price was all the way at the bottom. $27.50 in the U.S. Look, I had to take off the whole thing. So this one really excited me because it's all about creating things. And it's a beautiful hardback book. This will also make a great gift if you're looking for gifting items for friends and family. And look how pretty that is. Just as soon as you open it, then it gives you templates, everything that you need. For everything that she's showing you how to do and how to create in here. So it's very unique, fun, and different. And I thought it was so exciting. I was like, yay! So there you go. So definitely look for this one. Oh, Joy. That's awesome. And you guys, believe it or not, I think. Let me see. Yeah, that's it. That's everything for this haul. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a beautiful, wonderful night. Bye.